Hey everybody, welcome to TechSpace. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to change your Xbox One's uh, DVD or Blu-ray DVD uh, settings. So basically, go to your dashboard, you're going to want to go over to the left and go down to settings. So once you click settings, you're going to go all the way down to disc and Blu-ray. Here you have disc. So if we click on disc, we, also, we can see uh, play disc automatically and resume playback. So resume playback will... Um, remember, if you put a DVD in, it will remember the place that it was in, and uh, when you put it back in, it will resume that DVD. So if you have that um, check marked, it will do that, and if not, it won't. So it will restart the movie if you have it unchecked. Next, we have play disc automatically. Uh, that just basically means when you start up your Xbox, if there's a disc in, it will start that disc up and forget about everything else. So you can have that checked or unchecked if you don't want your disc to automatically start up and you just want to go in and manually click on it. If you want to uh, play that uh, disc, you can uncheck it. So next, we'll go back and we can see Blu-ray right next to disc. And here we have a few different settings. So Dolly Digital. Basically, you can have this dynamic range control off, on, or auto. Usually set it to auto if you are using uh, Blu-ray. It's just better because uh, uh, it's better to auto detect, especially if you don't know uh, what that even means. So keep an auto detect down here at the bottom, auto, if you don't know what it means, and you're using Blu-ray. So next we have an Able BD Live to improve uh blu-ray playback which will uh, take up a little bit more bandwidth but it will like it says improve your blu-ray playback on your xbox one next we have persistent storage i wouldn't really rem um, worry too much about this basically it says right here it says some blu-ray discs downloaded related content which will persist in storage sometimes this needs to be cleared so you can use related content from other discs will tell you when it's full so basically this is like a cache for your blu-ray um, again, if you're remembering, if you have it on the setting where it remembers where you are um, in the DVD, then it's going to have to save it to some type of cache or some memory that will take up uh, memory on your Xbox One. So remember that when using persistent storage. And um, again, once you have a whole bunch of it, like they say, they will tell you and you will be able to go there in there and clean up. So next we have preferred language. Again, for your menu, audio, and your subtitles, you can change these to whatever you want. So if you speak English, but uh, you're also trying to learn Spanish, you can go to subtitles and change your subtitles to Spanish, vice versa, or anything else. So basically, you can change your settings for your menu, uh, when you're reading through your menu or playing things, your audio, when you're hearing things, or your subtitles, the words that come up on the screen, as we all know when we're watching a video. So you can have that all set up and that's basically it for blu-ray and disc settings uh, if you have any questions please post them below I know this video is a little bit boring in verbatim but if you have uh, any issues with this uh, again you should be able to solve your problems by going in here and changing these settings accordingly uh, big thing again is that blu-ray setting that has uh, Dolby Digital um, that can really mess up your uh, audio if you have that on off or uh, you don't have that set to auto to auto detect that for you so that's all I need to show you guys today thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe check out the rest of my videos and I will see you next time